Okay, guys, we're back here with another magazine here for review. This is the uh, Korean uh, Korean magazine, the Korean AR-15 magazine uh, for reference points. So we'll try this stuff out here, guys. This is the uh, HK clone magazine, and uh, it's made in Korea. It looks like identical to the uh, German HK magazine. So we'll try this one out right here for reference points. Locks in okay. I do have a round in chamber right now for reference points, so I just wanted to load it up and see how it's going to function. So we'll try it out here and see the magazine reliably functions with like five rounds because I was told by guys a line this thing's nothing but a glorified paperweight. It's only eight bucks, so it's uh, no big loss if it don't work right. You know, magazine cycled okay and hold back on a bolt. Held back on a bolt on there. Locked in secure, hardly any wiggle, so the magazine functions okay with five rounds in there, guys. So uh, if you want to buy one of these things, they're only eight bucks, and uh, they're relatively cheap. I'll put a link at the bottom of the page, and um, they're, they're made in Korea. They have the same markings as the uh, HK style magazine right here, because they have a design, uh, designation of 5.56 on the bottom right here inside the mag, and uh, it comes apart just like a regular HK. Uh, maritime steel magazine for reference points so magazine locked back on the last uh, round right there for that so functions okay for me but uh, I wouldn't bet my life on it guys because of all the people I was told uh, it was not a you know great quality because it's only an $8 magazine guys so that's all I can really tell you about today guys so I'll see you